Hello, subbies and visitors. It's your girl, Coretta Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing, players? So, as you can see from the title, this is my February favorites. And there's not many of my favorites. I'm sure you saw the picture and it was like, where are the favorites? But it was February, short month. Um, I was sick half of the month. So, I didn't really do too much of anything to have any favorites besides eat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I ate, but I didn't gain any weight. Um, I've actually learned to eat smaller portions, so I've actually lost three pounds, which is awesome. What? 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 Too much? Too much? Okay, I'm sorry. But anyway, yes, I lost three pounds, and this girl is excited. But anyway, let's jump into what we're here for, my February favorites. So if you'd like to see what my favorites were for February, stick around, and I'll show you guys what I got. You ready? Okay, let's go. So, we're going to start with this first thing, okay? Once you... I got two other videos that are going to come out after this. Um, a hair video and a makeup video. But once you watch the hair video, I talk about my hair. Um, once I took my box braids down, I had about three, two and a half to three inches of new growth. And what is funny is that is exactly how much I cut off of my hair before I got my box braids. And the reason why I cut so much off my hair was because, as you guys know, that I got some color done to the... Uh, I got like this ombre effect hair color did to my hair and I guess I didn't take care of it the way that it should have been taken care of so my ends were really really dry and brittle and they were just kind of falling off so I just went on and cut those off well I still had some of the color but if you really look most of the color is gone but I'm gonna try it again but I'm gonna take better cut but care of it but anyway let's get a past the rambling let's get past the rambling okay so the three inches of new growth came from actually having the box sprays and taking this these are some biotin 1000 uh, milligram per soft gel hair skin and nail health okay a lot of people are taking hair affinity hair skin and nail vitamins they all more than likely the same thing and they all have biotin in them okay so my best friend uh miss sears shout out to you um she bought me these for my birthday along with some uh some more hair products but she brought this for me for my birthday because she's been taking this and her hair has grown tremendously like every time i do her hair it's like longer and i'm like what are you doing to your hair to make it grow so fast but anyway so this is what she takes and this is what she purchased me so I've been taking them since my birthday. I don't take them religiously because I forget because it says take with food. Take about uh, one to five times daily, preferably with food. It's like preferably with food. I'm going to take them with food because I don't want to be sick. So I take them about three times a day, um, every other day. But... I can tell you that they work. My hair did grow. My hair is thicker. It's shinier. It has a lot of luster to it. Um, for my nails, my nails grew a lot with this. I just cut my nails down for this last uh, manicure that I did, which you guys will see on Tuesday. Um, like I said, like these things work. My nails grew long and they're stronger. So... I really thank her for buying me this. And this has 150 soft gels in it. And I've taken about half of them. And like I said, I've been taking these since my birthday. My birthday was late January. January 26th to be exact. So I've been taking these all February. Like I said, I do not take them religiously because it's infected. I forget. I can't take pills on time. That's why I have two children. So, yeah. My birth controls are on alarm now, so to make sure I take them. And everybody in the house helps me take them. But these I have not put on a schedule yet, so maybe I put these on alarm as well, and I remember to take them. Most times, if I eat a big a big meal, I remember to take them because I put them on top of the refrigerator now, so I can see them once I'm in the kitchen. But yes, this has been a favorite for me for February, and they actually do work. Okay, um, yeah. So, we're going to move on to things that go in the bathroom. Okay. So, this is my second favorite. And this is a 
Cherry Blossom Bubble Bath with Shea Butter. And the brand is Silk. And it looks like this. I actually purchased this from my local Dollar Tree. And I always tell you my local Dollar Tree doesn't have <laughs> nothing, nothing. And every now and again I find some gems. But this has been in there for a while and I was just like, <laughs> I really, do I really want a bubble bath? But I never really had time to sit down and take baths. But as you guys know, I had to sit out this semester so I have a lot of time on my hand. And I picked this up because I wanted to relax. I was sick. I wanted to get in a hot, steaming bathtub. But I wanted something sexy and feminine to go with that hot steamy bath so i purchased some bubble bath and this bubble bath is bomb.com like you wouldn't think a dollar brand bubble bath would be so good but let me tell you guys um you put this in there it makes lots and lots of bubbles it smells good it doesn't like sometimes you use bubble bath and it just kind of leaves like a hard thing in your bath I don't know, I can't explain. Make your water hard. There we go. But this actually did not make the water hard at all. It made the water really, really soft. And the bubbles last the whole time I was in the bathtub. And I think I sat in there for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, a really long time. But this is, has been a favorite for me in the month of February. And I'm loving peppering time for me, okay? Next thing that goes in the bathroom is this Olay Fresh Outlast Cooling White Strawberry and Mint Body Wash. And it looks like this. And you guys know that I got this in a pinch me box. So, like I originally said, I was going to put it in my bag. <sighs> Sorry. I was going to put it in my bag to travel with, but something said just try it and use it. So, I tried it and I used it. So, it's been in the bathroom. Anyway, so it's been in my bathroom and I've been using it. And like I told you guys last time. It's a very soft smell and it just smells like strawberries and whipped cream and it is a very good um, texture and it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or anything like that. It left my skin feeling really, really nice and soft. So this has been a favorite for me in the month of February. The next thing that's kind of like a bath item is this um, Ultimate Skin Care System 123 Skin Nutri Nutritions for Healthy Skin Youth Perfecting Intensive Moisturizer with Shea Butter Essential Vitamins and Minerals. So, um, I know you've seen my skincare routine video from the Dollar Tree. And this is the third step. This is just a moisturizer. I'm, I do owe you guys a review. However, I do use the moisturizer more than I use anything. Mainly because... Some days I just don't feel like going through the whole process of cleaning my face. Like, I don't know. Just wash it. Moisturize it. Is that wrong? Who cares if it's wrong? That's what I want to do with my face. Okay? So, sometimes I don't do the whole process. I just clean it uh, regularly and then I moisturize. And this moisturizer is bomb.com. I can't say that it is a lot of product in this bottle for it to be from the Dollar Tree and a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of it and I use it sometimes twice a day. And this is 3.3 fluid ounces. Like I said, a lot of product. Really, really good and I love the way it feels on my skin. Okay? So the next two things are nail polishes as you guys know i love to add some bling to a nail polish or i mean to a manicure i don't have any bling on this one not yet anyway i might add some who knows but anyway i don't have any bling on this one but i do have two favorite uh, nail polishes for this month hey so they both are blings for me i call them bling they glitter polishes one is from the giver limited edition um polish Set, and it is in the color the outer edge it is 1363 outer edge and it almost looks like um shimmering snow so that's what it looks like and the other one is the china glaze fairy dust everyone loves fairy dust everyone knows what fairy dust is if you're not a nail polish addict of course you don't know what fairy dust is but if you love nail polish like me and half of these other people on the yc you know what fairy dust is so this is fairy dust and it's just like a glittery shimmery uh, mess <laughs> we don't call it a mess but it is awesome this is like 
the perfect thing. You can build it up or you can do one coat and it just gives your nails a nice shimmer. I've used it in a couple of uh, what's on my nails. So check those videos out. Um, these two polishes were actually... I don't know. I think one of them was a gift and one of them was in a giveaway. Both of them came from Miss Joanna. So shout out to Miss Joanna McLeod here on the YT. Thank you. These are two of my favorites. Been my favorites for a while, but you know I've been doing more manicures lately. So these are two favorites for February. In the next one is an actual makeup utensil or tool or whatever you want to call it. But hey. So the next one is an elf blush brush and you guys know that the blush brushes from elf are flat you see that and they're um i guess you can call it a dome shape i personally do not think that you can apply blush like this because it's going to leave like a a line per se i use you guys know i use my lovely mac brush my mac uh what is this 129 and it's a fluffy dome brush. So it's fluffy all the way around. So this is what I use for blush. But this blush brush from e.l.f. is great for adding your highlight. And setting your under eye. So I have two of these. I use one for highlighting and I use one of them for setting, um, for setting my under eye concealer. Or my highlight. Whatever I, I'm using. Like if I use a liquid highlight, I use it to set that. If I'm using just a concealer, I use it to set my under eye concealer. And then I use this brush for a highlight. As you can see, it gets right there where you want your highlight. You see the highlight, y'all? So it gets right there where you want your highlight. You can go down the bridge of your nose with this, and you're going to fluff it here, fluff it on your cupid's bow, fluff it on your um, chin. This is a great brush. So if you're like, I need a fan brush, I need a fan brush, I need a fan brush, because I thought I needed a fan brush. But I use this to highlight in back back. This is the brush that you need. So, go out and get you one. This brush is $3. You can't beat that. Elf has some really good brushes. I've washed these brushes a couple of times. You can tug on it like this. Nothing comes out. Of course, you some sprinkles coming out. I used it. But no strands are coming out. So these are really, really good brushes for $3. So, like I said, we'll get you some. The next two items are actually lip products um no it's not what i have on my lips now i'll let you guys know what i have on my lips once we get done okay okay so these two products are um viva glam products and these are the viva glam miley cyrus so this is the viva glam miley cyrus um lipstick and all you look all you guys know exactly what this looks like so it's nothing new to you guys but i like this let me tell you exactly why i like this color uh, let me swatch it just in case you guys don't know what it looks like. I will swatch it on my hand. But I can use this. Of course, we love the packaging. Okay, but I can use this without the gloss and without a lip liner for the simple fact that I have really dark. I have like a natural um, lip liner. It's like a brown color. So once you put this on and you really um, get it in... It actually looks really, really nice on my skin tone. Like, a lot of colors, a lot of pink tones, they don't look too good to me, personally. But with this one, without a lip liner, it looks great. Because, like I said, I have, um, my lips are darker around the edge. So, it's almost like I have a natural lip liner on already. So, and this is the swatch of that. And you look, you all know how this looks already you've seen it everywhere on the yt and i've showed it to you so i'm showing it to you again but it's one of my favorites and of course the lip glass has to be a favorite to go with that because i do love the way that they pair together and you guys know what this looks like already and the reason why i like the way this pairs together is because the glitter is not overbearing it doesn't even look like you put this gloss on sometimes it just kind of gives your lips an extra dimension so, like I said, when you put this on, you can't really even tell that you have on a lip glass with glitter in it. So, these are my two lip favorites for the month of February. Um, the next thing I have for the month of February is this Black Radiance Under Eye Color Corrector. Now, I love this product as a whole, but what I've been liking about this product, period, without the rest of them, is just step number three. And step number three is the setting powder. 
which is here. This is three. This is one, two, and three. This is the eye primer. This is the color corrector. And this is the setting powder. So the setting powder has been my best friend. I've been using that setting powder to set my highlight and my concealer in my last couple of makeup videos. So if you see me going back in and getting some of the is this that I've been setting with. I have not tried the Essence Matte on the go yet I will try it in my next makeup video I'll probably do that tomorrow so yeah this has been a favorite for me and this was from black radiance and I'm sure I didn't pay no more than four dollars for this the next thing in my favorites is gonna be this elf eyebrow kit um, and I have it in the color medium now this is not gonna be my this is not an everyday oh uh, no this is an everyday uh, eyebrow kit. This is not sure I want to look glam and fabulous eyebrow kit. For the simple fact that it takes a lot of product to actually fill your eyebrows in. But what I do like about this product is that it fills it in and it tames your eyebrows as well. So for an everyday look where you don't want to be all big and bold on your eyebrows, you can use this to fill them in and make them look neat and you know, like you pulled yourself together for that day. So this is what mine look like. I'm almost hitting pan on that in the center as you can see because you have to like really dig in there and get the product out. So this is what I've been using and now sometimes I take the powder and set it but most times I'm just taking the, um, the gel, the wax side and doing my eyebrows for an everyday look, okay? And you know, Elf has some really sweet package, and I love this package. It's very similar to NARS. Um, I know there's a lot of dupes in the Elf product line for the NARS products. So, you know, check that out if you have a chance, okay? The next thing I have is um, the NYX Baked Blush Illuminated and Bronzer. And you guys know that I use this as a highlight. Um, so, yeah, I, this probably was in my January favorites. I don't even know, but... If it's my favorite every month, it's going to be in my favorites every month. <laughs> Get over it. Anyway, so this is in Ladylike. And as you guys know that this is like a uh, peachy, pinky. Only thing I am hating is that the highlights I like, I have a lot of glitter in it. I know they're supposed to shimmer, but this much glitter, I don't know. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And you know I love their packaging as well. It's very, it's not as sleek, but it's cute. And then it closes with a little bow here, and you all know how that is. So the next thing I have is another Elf product. Yeah, Elf is the ruler. So another one is this Elf All Over Color Stick, and I have this in persimmon. Yeah. But anyway, this is what that looks like. It's a stick. Okay, I originally bought this for a highlight. It looks great as a highlight, but it's just really hard to use as a highlight because it is so thick. Now, what I will tell you is that I can use this product and this MAC uh, 194 SE brush. I guess it's me, special edition. I got it with like a, some eyeshadows and a tartan purse. I don't know what collection it was. I could tell you the eyeshadows. Oh, sorry. No, they're not in here. Okay. But anyway, I can take this brush and take this highlight. And I can uh, highlight my brow bone. I don't have any highlight on my brow bone today because my eyeshadow comes up a little high. So, yeah. But you can use a tapered eyeshadow brush like this. And use this and um, highlight your brows, and that's really really good. And you can use it on—I use it on my nose as well, but I would not use it as a cheek highlight anymore because it is just too thick. Okay. Now I forgot to show you guys a nail product that is my favorite this month, but hey, you don't have to be in order. Who cares? Okay, so this one is um, the Queen Cosmetics Stamping Clay, and I think this is. Celebrations, I don't know. It's a special one. So this is that. And it has this little cute little bow here that keeps it all together. And you see that it has this gold crown here. It's this point here. And inside are there other plates. So I have four plates. 
but they're double sided so that technically means I have eight plates I've been using these in my uh, what's on my nails as you know um, it's taken me a long time to actually get to you know learn how to actually use these I will say that I have a favorite plate in this collection and the, my favorite plate is this Queen SE 01B and this is the one that has like all the little pretty flowers and stuff and the other my other favorite in here is Queen SE 02A so this one has like love and roses and all that good stuff on there so I like this one as well so yeah those have been my that has definitely been a favorite for me this month I have stamping on my nails this month as well like I said you'll see that video on Tuesday so it's going up on a Tuesday got your girl in the coffee she choosing oh yeah well, that video going up on Tuesday. So, again, this is my February favorites. Hey, oh, I will tell you guys, today I have been jamming to Pandora, to the Beyonce stage. You're like, jamming. Like, do y'all remember Nivea, Don't Mess With My Man? <sighs> that song went hard today. Don't mess with my man. I'm going to be the for you. Here's a little advice for you. Find your own man. So anyway, so this has been my February favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you use any of these products, let me know down below. If you want to know anything else about any of these products that I use, leave the comments down below. And if you want to see any type of special video from me, let me know. So, yeah. Oh, I said I was going to tell you guys what I have on my lips. And so on my lips, I have this e.l.f. Extra Lip Gloss in Brett. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all sleeping on Elf. Don't, don't, don't sleep on Elf. Do not sleep on Elf, okay? So, this I purchased in my last Dollar Tree haul. I actually got this from my Montgomery Dollar Tree. And this is the one that my boys picked out. Actually, EJ and Philip picked this out. And I was like, this is not the one I want. I wanted Michael. They had Michael. I should have just got both of them. But this is what I picked out. I did line my lips in, um... Essence lip liner and cute pink. This will be in March favorites. Okay, um, the they glide on so easy, so smooth. So I do have this on, and I put this on on top of that. And y'all, Elf is. We have been sleeping on Elf, y'all. I just don't know why we've been sleeping on them. This color payoff. It's a gloss, but it's a. To me, it's more of a liquid lipstick. It's not a matte liquid lipstick, but it's a liquid lip color because look at that color payoff, you guys. Look. It is opaque. Like, it is not streaky or anything. Look at that. Y'all see this? Don't sleep on it. Anyway, so I'm done. I'm done talking to y'all. I've been rambling on. And I've just been all over the place, and I'm sorry, but I'm having fun. So, like I said, this is my February favorites. If you want to know anything else about any of these favorites, leave all your questions down below. Talk to me, guys. Tell me what you think about my hair. Tell me what you think about anything. Anything you want to talk about, let me know. Oh, before we forget, I do want to give a plug out to uh, Influencer and the NYC Big Bold stuff because I tried these again, you guys. <laughs> I like it. I know I said I really didn't know if I liked it, but I like it. All right, y'all. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in another video again shortly. Bye.